Hey guys, welcome back. So today is another little project share using my um, <clears throat> design team package from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, I'm going to share with you a couple different things that I made this time. First up is going to be this one, which is called the Halloween mini album. So let me show you what it comes with. Oh, I put a, I put a wrong piece in there. <laughs> that was from the other set. I put it back in there. Anyway, so you get your base piece and then your layering piece and then your Halloween words. Okay. I think that's all that comes with this one. So what I made was this. I made this cute little mini album. Um, I'm using Simple Storage, Simple Vintage October 31st collection for this. I, I've had it, I just have a few pieces of it and I thought, you know, I need to use this. I keep doing um, pastel and I really like the looks of regular also, so, of, you know, traditional colors. So I got a bunch of ribbons and trims tied here. Here's my front page. I cut out the words and popped them up on foam and put them um, put them here on the front page. And then I got a rosette back there and a little spider web and some ephemera and a cute little uh, chipboard piece and bow. Another chipboard piece down here, little goblins. I got another piece of this little um, star trim that I got from Spellbinders that I love. Has kind of a vintagey look to it. Put that there, put a little piece of um, black lace on the end of this one. So that's my cover page. And these are just, you know, have a couple little things on them. They don't, they're not all like all decorated or anything. So I got this little piece of chipboard here. It's only attached on the top, so you could stick your picture up underneath there. This one, I just put the um, spider web from the um, spider web. Let's see, what is that one called? It's called the spider web mini album. That's where that web was from that I had in there. That's why I slipped it back in there because I had just used it. So anyway, I just put that down over this and then I use the uppercase alphas and number set that Scrappy were released last month to do the 31 out of pattern paper and up on foam. This side I have a chipboard piece frame that came in the um, this part of the collection that I have for for this for this collection and it's not um, it's not tacked on the top so the picture can slide down in there just put a cute little flower okay and then this one is one of those pages where it's got like a you know a border and so I use just you know I place my die over where I wanted to cut out and then I just cut a little um, uh, ticket piece and stitched around it and then I added this little piece of ephemera here and stitched it on. So this is only attacked in the corner so the picture can still slide in there. And then this is a haunted house from some of those um, cupcake, um, what are they, cupcake holder things that I got at Dollar Tree last year. I've used them on a couple different things, just cutting pieces off of it and stuff. So there's that. This one, I did a half page, just cut it, you know, cut it out, print, die cut it out, and then cut it in half, and then stitched around, and then I have a couple of this cut apart from the collection stuck in there, and then this little cut apart also stuck in there, stitched, and, <laughs> you know, some, I stitch and then I forget to stitch, I stitch and then I forget to stitch, <laughs> so some are stitched, some are not. Okay, so then here's a little smaller uh, piece here also of the piece of paper that I liked, stitched all around it. And then this is a piece of the um, chipboard. They're like large chipboard pieces. I love these. And it's just got this cute little thing and you can add your picture in here. You could add your picture on the back. I didn't stitch on this um, and it just tucks right in there. You can put some more picture on the back. Okay, this one has got a piece of ephemera from the collection that I just um, attached on the one side. It's open right here, piece of ephemera. This little tag I stitched on it, it's just, just tucked back here. Um, 
and then again a piece of paper that I liked. This I cut a circle out from um, Erica's um, essentials. I have this essentials pack that's got the circle and the oval. So I cut this one out and then I just kind of trimmed it off right here so it would be like a moon kind of looking up. And then and stitched all around it, attached it, and then this is a thickers from the collection. So added that right there. And then this back page is just blank and then my little thing. I think it turned out pretty cute. So there's that. <clears throat> and then next I used the, um, the witch hat box again. So this is it. This is all the pieces. Um, and I had already made this that I've already shared. So I've already made one pastel like that. So this one I decided to go with tradition. That's why I'm using this collection. And so this is the one I made this time. So again, this is the Simple Stories. Simple Vintage October 31st. I love it. So I think it turned out really cute. I got some of this white mesh. I have some of this um, kind of silver vintage looking um, eyelash trim around the edge. And this just sits on. I used, um, I attached a cute little um, those bottles from, it's a little potion bottle from Dollar Tree. Put a little bow on it. There's some little golden uh, like moons and stars in there and then this is a stamp and die cut from scrap diva for this month also cute little bat that i stamped and embossed in pink here is the cute little um spider bow i love this i just love how these are pointy and how they stick up so it's cute because it's spider web, but yet it almost kind of looks like wings also. So I really like that. And then it's layered up, which you can use this bow all year round. We just don't put in these, you know, this piece. A little cabochon I had in my stash for the center. And then these are some um, quilted stars that I got a while back off um, Timu. So that's how I decorated it up. I think she turned out very cute. So... I love it. So I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, here is the website info. And here is all of Erica's social media. I will link and list everything below. I'll have my discount code um, listed for you. The shop linked for you. And the dies linked for you. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.